Hi guys, look at how Aki is doing well this morning. Uh -huh. oh, Papa. She's sitting propped up on her bed um, and she has some um, vitamin water here. She can drink again and she holds her water. Her neck act that good up enough up um, to silver. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, let us see it, let us see it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, see? She can stand again. And uh, um, thank you all so much for your support yesterday because I was crying yesterday morning. Hey, Aki. Yeah, you were panicking. But today is uh, you, you're wiggling your tire tail a lot better. Hey, Papa. Is he standing very firm on my hands right now? Um, yeah. Good job. Um, thank you all so much. Um, I'm re about ready to leave. I've been up with her most of the night. I've given her uh, the vitamin water um, with um, the silver cordial. Um, thank you, Miss Sheila. How and um, Marine. Um, I did. Um, um, I did uh, treat her as if it could be botulism. Uh, and yes, um, beyond, after her legs went down and her neck started to go and her eyes started to droop, her third eyelid, I looked up those symptoms that it either could be some toxin or botulism. And so I went with the charcoal flus, but um, that didn't go as well as the silver cordial. And then I have... Um, The electrolytes and the probiotics uh, for her, um, and so um, you can tell I'm quite tired from <laughs> two days up, but it's totally worth it because I love her so much uh, and the pre probiotics and um, um, this is the magnesium for me actually. And I even um, started to feel quite differently um, taking the silver cordial and magnesium myself as well. Um, this part of my brain has started to work uh, more, as in all of a sudden I started to feel paranoid for the first time. of like, oh, maybe police would come uh, during the night. This is kind of unlikely here, but I was so happy because... Um, that actually does get me, keep me alert, and um, I could just say, "Oh, you know what? That uh, that is a valid concern. But I don't have to be concerned about it." And so I could really clear distinction that uh, it was something that I normally don't really think anymore. Uh, Pop, what, what are you doing? Um, so um, this, uh, this works a little differently, and I have coughed less as well. Um, So she's standing up. Um, this summer, when I uh, was kind of talked into a situation to rehome Aki, uh, I ended up watching their ducks, these people's ducks. And um, look at that. Look at that. She's standing. And that duck had eaten, um, one of the ten ducks had eaten something oily, and her legs started to get um, paralyzed, and she became much sicker than... Um, Eki yesterday, and um, the family hadn't like, given her enough exercise, and so after two days, or actually after a day, her legs end up grown like this, the way that they used it, and so she couldn't straighten it anymore. So my job with Eki was that I would give her exercise every two hours so that her legs do not get the chance uh, to stiffen, and they didn't. I uh, massaged them twice with... Um, um, the CBD THC bomb, and because uh, I could tell their pa uh, uh, pain, and um, I practiced with her standing, so I held her like this because um, after eating, I needed to keep her head up so that the food would go down and not the water actually, because that too is kind of was kind of impact or paralyzed. Uh, but she's doing much better, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. Um, because one part of it was <coughs> malnutrition. Um, is he being naughty? Hummus, why is he naughty about? Oh, they're, they're fighting over a piece of paper. 
like very important important stuff. Um, so um, what really helped me yesterday was that I reached out yesterday. Uh, thank you, Joe. Um, the battery, there was an issue with the battery yesterday. Um, and just knowing that there are people out there um, interested enough and caring enough to like, hey, um, what's going on with that person? That, it really warmed my heart. And I really uh, was able to change kind of the ways that I normally react. Um, and it was still there a little bit when I was uh, live on TV and y'all said, you know, it's okay. And I'm like, no, I need to kind of do, go about this differently, you know. Um, and I managed, I managed. Um, so thank you so much. And also for the offering to send some uh, funding. Um, I will look into a PayPal. I, um, I, I've, I'm, I'm fine. I just, it feels really good that... Just in case I need something or my ducks or my dogs need something, it feels so different that I know that I can be asked for help in a way that I know that people are okay with. Because um, that's always really kind of hard um, and vulnerable. Um, so thank you all so much. And um, yeah, you see, I am a little tired, but it's totally fine. We're able just to leave. I have gas enough. Um, I'm going to go to the hair store because this is um, in Victor, it's one few places where a lot of um, African-American people live. And uh, so there's a special hair store uh, with a lot of wigs and extensions. And, and so I'll, um, I'm going to have to get some um, to hold this because I'm growing my locks back. Um, having locks or shaved um, doesn't have so much rest because I have these layers of psoriasis on my head and it hurts a lot. So, um, Again, when I keep it natural, it's, it's gone. So it says something to me. But and, and Eki is actually able to peacefully sit on me right now. So sit on her. Um, what are you doing now? Sitting on her chair. Um, <laughs> that's uh, that's Eki's chair. He's very tired too. Um, we're kind of done with sitting in the cold weather. It all impacts us. It's kind of interesting. Um, how cold weather. I notice impacts people in general. Um, also, my heart goes out to all the people in Alabama and um, up north where it's so bloody hell cold. Um, it really is awful just to lose everything at this point right now. Um, at, at any time, but especially right now. So my blessings go to any family and... Um, Oh. oh, yeah. Let me give the duck a little more water. I give her uh, the vitamin water as much as possible and then no more water as well. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh. You see yourself, Eki? Yeah. Oh. I'm so happy because she's so sweet. And I want her to keep the ability to stand and walk so that she can leave any time she need to like oops it's still a little wobbly I'm gonna be okay um again this is a mixture um with the so um I don't know if you can see the beautiful mountains. There, the, there's the snow up there. Um, I don't know if you have a chance to see it. Um, there's, there's the snow down, um, and we're between, um, like, two freeways, I think. Uh, there are uh, the travel agents, um, truck stop but there are like over hundreds of trucks and um again this is kind of safer here for me just to park down the street and there are other cars um sometimes or um actually frequently um so do I to go Eki
Guinea has a good night of sleep. See, see, um, it's a little calmer as well. Um, I'll give her a little bit more um, rescue remedy. Careful, careful, Guinness. <laughs> so, um, thank y'all so much for keep keeping updated, and um, I'll be on the road uh, together, actually, in the hot spring water down south, because that's really good for this kind of disorders, um, as I can, uh, can tell. Um, peace out, guys. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Look at better. Yeah, there are people out there that are looking at us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, alert this time. Uh, but the most important is that she can put her neck up. Um, that big, makes a big difference. <laughs> now, Hummus! Hummus! Guinness! Guinness! That's the same dog. It's Hummus. <laughs> This is like, uh, they, lo they love to play in the car. And again, that's possible because it's not just one big bed. Um, there's nothing in the way. Uh, I'm going to get some breakfast before we take off. Um, I don't think it's smart to sit here much longer. Um, we have enough gas to make it um, uh, to, uh, out to a warmer weather because I'm not feeling very well uh, still. Oh, good job. Oh, gentlemen. Hi, <laughs> Nene. Yeah, we're going to do this to these. Okay, guys. <laughs>